Hi guys! Today we're going to make something unusual. Glue yourself to the screen not to miss a thing. Mon amour, let me give you this heart to make it up to ya. <laughs> Sam, quit fooling around. Even if hearts like these will do. Whoa, so big! What do we need them for? You'll see soon. We'll need pieces like these. Sammy, could you help me cut them out? Yep, sure. Here you are. Oh, so quick. Yep, I'm the master of cardboard cutting. Perfect. Pieces like these will fit great. Now let's get started. Look out! <laughs> Sammy, you're such a joker. Let's carefully glue the piece. And attach it this way. Good. Hey, Sammy, are you gonna help me? Of course. No problem. Wow, check it out. We've almost finished the framing, Sam. Now let's join the two sides of our heart. Ah, they're joined forever. Oh, Sam. <laughs> As usual, but we still have work to do, you know? Let's apply some glue on the parts of our heart. Don't miss anything. And attach this wall inside our heart. Sam, we need more pieces like this. Done! Am I a good assistant? Oh, a perfect one. This way we can finish the craft very soon. Wow, so beautiful, isn't it, guys? We forgot to cover the upper part of our heart. As you see, here pieces won't be straight, so I made little cuts on the surface of the cardboard. Mm. It became very mm. flexible. Now we can glue it. Bring the remaining parts. We're at the midpoint of our craft. Has anyone guessed what we're making? Is this my new apartment? <laughs> Any other suggestions? But it's obviously an apartment. This is a kitchen. And here I'll have my bedroom. It's especially cool without windows, right? Come on, Sam. Don't disturb me. Fine. We'll see who wins. Uh, don't be mad. You actually can live here. If you fit. Anyway, what is it, Sue? Tell me, Sue, tell me! If you help me cutting right here very precisely, I'll tell you what it is. Deal? All right, I'll take you at your word. Sure. While you're cutting, I'm going to glue some other pieces. This one goes here. Perfect. Guys, don't forget to be careful when working with the hot glue. Feel free to ask an adult to help you. Sam, how's it going? They'll be ready soon. Now let's make our pieces more solid. We're going to glue little wood blocks inside. Soon you'll see why we need them. Ew, I finished! Good job, Sammy! Could you make another piece like this? Sure, be right back. Great! In the meantime, I'm going to do the same with this piece. Outside and inside, we covered the piece with colored paper. Let's do the same with this piece as well. Now we're going to make little pockets. Insert the pieces carefully. Look, this way. Check out how beautiful it is! Now I can put all my things here so the dressing table remains clean. Whoa! Very useful! Now I won't get confused with your perfume! I'm sorry, what? Did you take my perfume without my permission? Uh, I'm kidding, truly. Kidding, huh? Here, glue everything now. Uh, I got it. My bad. Will do. All right. Uh-huh, here, uh-huh. All done. Now we can finally glue our side pieces. And the heart transforms into... A real shelf. Right, Sammy? For now, it looks like a spaceship. I'd be so happy if it was, actually. Oh, we'll build you a spaceship, but only if you promise to behave. <sighs> it's always the terms. Who's the great inventor? I am the great...
great adventure! So look! Oh, wow! A cork sheet is just what I need! Of course! I love to make crafts and I know when you need something! Hmm… Let's see… You're a craft master of the 80th level! How can you be so good? You taught me! Yeah, I'm a great teacher! Well, I don't like this color. Shall we change it? Done! What are you gonna do with them? Well, it's for the decor. I'll put them on the doors. Of course! It was me who brought the cork! <laughs> sure. Do you remember those colorful wooden sticks we had? Yep. Why do you need them? I've got an idea. Bring them! Here are your sticks, too! Perfect! We're gonna make… A stick well? Uh, why a well? Well, I saw they made a well of similar pieces once. Yeah? Anyway, um, no. I'm not gonna make a well. By the way, guys, be careful with the cutter. But what are we making anyway? Think, Sammy. Huh. I know! These are hangers! Right you are. Hangers for the accessories. Very soon you'll see how they work. And now… Take it, Sue. Oh, Sammy, thanks. You read my mind. Again. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's attach them to our shelf so the doors can open. Carefully fasten this door hinge. Susie, go get all your curly stuff. I got this. Yeah? Okay, here. <laughs> wow, Sammy, it's so beautiful. Jack of all trades. Check it out. I even made a special Velcro fastener. Awesome. Thank you, Sammy. Oh, I want to fill the shelf sooner. On this level, I'll keep all my cosmetics. And here, I'll put my makeup brushes. Here, I'll keep my accessories. This is why we made the little hangers. I like it. I'll put my jewel box here. It fits perfectly. Hmm, I think I'm forgetting things for hair. There. And this will be a place for my notebook. Oh, by the way, it's a great place to put notes. Look. Wow, we did a great job. Tell me about it. We did it because we're a good team, Sam. I'm happy. And you? Of course. If you liked our cardboard shelf for accessories, give a thumbs up and make your own crafts. Bye-bye. Don't forget to hit the bell not to miss our new videos. Bye. Ba -dum -ba -da -ba. Hmm. Oh, interesting. <gasps> oh, I'm running late. I need to get ready. I hope I have time for makeup. Where's my cosmetics bag? Here it is! Wait, where did it all go? What am I supposed to do? Sam! Sam what? I didn't do anything! You didn't take my makeup? As if I need your girly stuff, you better ask Samantha. Samantha will never confess, even if she took it. What should I do? Wait, I think there was something left. Yes! I knew it! Right, I may not get to the meeting today, but at least I'll hide my makeup well. Hi, guys! Most of my makeup is gone. But to make sure nobody finds the rest of it, I've decided to hide it where Sam and Samantha won't look. Inside fruit! Give a thumbs up if you also believe that Sam and Samantha won't find it there. We'll start with the base, liquid foundation. I want to turn it into pomegranate. We'll need this styrofoam ball cut into half like this. Aha! My craft sense is tingling, crafting something without me. No, no, Sammy. I was just tidying up and found the styrofoam ball, and… Oh, you're tidying up. Then I'm off. Yes, yes, go, or I'll make you tidy up too. Oh, no! <laughs> right, let's continue our craft. We'll make a dent in the ball, the size of the foundation bottle. Styrofoam is so soft, so it's easy to do it with your fingers. 
like this. And the same goes for the second half. Great! Now let's place our foundation bottle into the dent. <gasps> a perfect fit! Let's use the glue to connect the halves. It's super glue, as you can see. Not using hot glue here. It can create a gap. We don't need it. Let's press our halves together. Like this. It doesn't look like a pomegranate, right? But this will help. We'll need some dark red felt to create the pomegranate skin. We'll use special fabric glue to attach the fabric to the ball. Let's apply the glue like this in one strip. And carefully glue the fabric to the ball. And we'll repeat that with all four sides of the fabric. Apply some glue. And press. Don't rush it, though. Okay, now let's cut off the excess to make sure the fabric fits perfectly. Be careful with the scissors. Don't cut away too much fabric. You'll still need it to glue to the ball. Make sure there aren't any gaps. The felt should cover the whole surface. Guys, we don't cut away the corners. They will imitate the tips of the pomegranate skin. And this will help us make the skin look even more realistic. We'll take yellow fabric to imitate the inside of the pomegranate skin. And we'll attach it to the red fabric. Press it well to make sure it doesn't fall off. There! On each tip, nice and slow. It should look convincing. We'll need some paint and a paintbrush to give our pomegranate an even more realistic look. We'll use yellow paint just like the inside of the pomegranate skin. It looks almost done! Now let's cut the tips carefully. Uh-huh. And another one. Yes, just like this. The last thing we're going to need are these plastic half beads. Red, of course. We'll glue them inside. They will imitate the pomegranate seeds. I won't add too many. Yep, that's enough. This looks amazing! I can't believe it looks so realistic! And it works! I think it's even more convenient this way. Now I won't break it like the last time. Huh, this shade is a bit too dark. I think I bought it when my skin was tan, but okay. So this is the start. How should I hide the rest? Oh, I love this lip gloss. It smells just like… Coca-Cola? Are you drinking Coke without me? No, Sammy, it's lip gloss. Do you want to try it? <laughs> oh, no, no. Keep your girly stuff to yourself. <laughs> to make sure Sam doesn't change his mind and doesn't steal my lip gloss, I need to hide it well. I think this artificial banana will do perfectly. Let's cut the banana in half carefully like this. Be careful with the knife or ask an adult to cut it for you. And we need to make a hole inside. Huh. Cement? Hmm. I need my favorite guy to help me. Sammy! Who called for a master ball tray? I need you to take out the cement from the banana. Uh, don't ask what for. Will do. Who could have thought that there would be cement inside of an artificial banana? If you're surprised too, give a thumbs up. It wasn't easy, but it's done. Thank you, my little master. <laughs> It looks great. Only white color is a bit unnatural. But no problem. We'll use yellow paint again. And paint all the white parts. Well, those that are visible, that is. <laughs> While the paint is drying, we'll use hot glue. I need to secure the lip gloss inside the banana to make sure it doesn't fall out. There. Carefully now. I don't want to break anything. And we'll glue the second half, the cap. Carefully again. There. And here's the result. Let's try to open it. Wow! Mmm. Very convenient. Which is your favorite exotic fruit, guys? Mine is carambola. But now it's not only the most delicious thing in the world, but it's also a great place to hide my favorite mascara. I can't think of a better place. To imitate a carambola, we need lots of glue. But this time, we'll use both the glue gun and glue sticks. We need to glue the sticks to the mascara. They will soften and take the required shape. And we're going to need five sticks. This will be the base for the carambola. Let's cut the tips a bit to give it a more rounded shape. 
But to make the caramel bigger, we'll use more glue. We'll apply it like this and leave it to dry. Don't be shy with the glue here. But don't overdo it either. Our carambola should keep its shape. All five sides are done! Then we need to prepare some water. And now we'll use a construction blow dryer. But please, use it only under adult supervision. Wet your fingers a bit. And then smooth out the surface of our carambola. Repeat it until you get the desired smoothness. Let's add a bit of green color to make it look more like the real thing, but only on the edges. Dab, dab, dab. Perfect. Sue, are you painting without me? Well, I'm a, uh, um. Doesn't matter. I only wanted to say that Gary and I were racing and I won 20 times in a row. Sam, but Gary is a snail. He can't. Gary is the best snail in the world and my friend. Give a thumbs up if you saw the videos with Gary. <laughs> and I'm off to play with tater tots. Go on, take your time. And I'll finish making my sly crafts. I'm going to use this mascara. So I need to cut the caramel carefully. Exactly where the cap of the mascara is. Glue can be hard to cut, so be very careful. No rush. And so guys, the mascara is done! <gasps> Yay, it opens! Look, I think it's even more convenient to use it like this. 